You all really enjoyed the video in which I made strawberry shortcake characters into sims in The Sims 4. So I thought I'd make a second part, this time using a wheel. If you don't know what Strawberry Shortcake is, it's a show about a girl named Strawberry Shortcake who goes on lots of adventures with her pets, cat and dog, and her other friends, all of whom have names based off of sweets. They did come out with a lot of different versions of the show, but today I'm going to be going off of the 2003 version version. I just really liked how different their outfits were. So here are our sims for today. They look exactly the same as the last ones we worked on. Like I said, look at these characters. They are identical to each other facial feature wise. So we're just going to focus on the designs for today. So here I have a ton of strawberry shortcake characters from the 2003 version in this wheel. We're going to spin and see who we land on and we'll try to make that character. Okay, it looks like we landed on Frosty Puff. So this is what Frosty Puff looks like. She is very kind and friendly and she is an expert at making frozen desserts. She also enjoys ice skating. One of the traits I want to give her is the active trait since she does ice skating. I'll also give her the outgoing trait and the foodie trait. For her aspiration, I feel like it's only appropriate to give her something related to Mount Kamurabi. And let's get started. So I do want to give her some skin details. I'm not going to change too much about the face. I will just give her some lashes and possibly these eyelids. From what I can tell, her eyes are dark blue, so I will change that. She's definitely wearing blush, but it's not as pink as the one I had on her, so I will change that as well. Oh, right, and I totally forgot to change her skin tone. We'll go with this one. This one matches hers really well. I'm really stuck between this hair and this hair. Let me see what it looks like if I add a hat. This hair looks really bad with that hat on. Please tell me this one works. Yeah, this one works works. I'm gonna have to use this hair. So her outfit is absolutely precious. I do want to just go ahead and add the leg warmers right away. And I'm going in a really weird order right now, but I do want to do the leggings. I'm gonna stick to these. These are the most similar in color. Unfortunately, I can't also put socks underneath the leg warmers, but let's move on to the shoes. I'll go with these loafers because they are the only shoe that matches the leggings in color. I can't find any jacket that looks like the one she's wearing, but I'm gonna go with this one for her because it is white. It's fluffy up here and we've got the purple top underneath. I'll go with this skirt because it matches the top. We'll give her some gloves. I want to give her some earrings. We can go with these snowman ones. That's fine. I'll give her some gloves loss. And that is pretty much it for Frosty Puff. I really hope that you like her. I think she turned out pretty good. I removed Frosty Puff from the wheel. Let's go ahead and spin for our next character. Ooh, little apricot. So this is what she looks like. She is so cute. Apricot is friendly and she's kind, but apparently she is a pathological liar. I'm not sure how much of this is true, but apparently she's known for bragging and lying about being an incredible ice skater and living in a castle. I'll give little apricot the self-absorbed trait, the jealous trait, and the cheerful trait. I'll also give her the world famous celebrity aspiration. Little apricot has got the tiniest little eyebrows. I'll go with this hair for little apricot. I like it because she's got really thick bangs. I'm very lost when it comes to the hat. I don't really have anything that looks like the one she's got on. I'm gonna change her hat to this one right here. I don't have anything that's similar to what she's wearing. I thought I liked these pants, but I'm not sure anymore because of the belt. I'll go with these pants instead. And she's wearing some white socks along with those little heels once again. I'll give her these. I'll do her nails in this pink color. I'll give her this lip gloss. And that is it for Little Apricot. It's definitely a more <laughs> modern twist on the outfit she's wearing, but... This is all I could find. However, I'm still very happy with how she turned out. 
I removed little apricot from the wheel. Let's go ahead and spin again and see who we land on. Ooh, Tangerina Torta or Tart. She lives in a lush tropical forest. She's got a pet monkey. She's adventurous, spunky, fun loving. She likes to travel and try new things and she's very helpful. I'll give her the adventurous trait, the loyal trait, and the party animal trait. And I'll give her the friend of the world aspiration. So let's start off with her skin tone. Hers is a little bit more tan than the other characters. I think the skin color is okay for now. We'll give her the green eyes she has. I'm gonna go for this hair for her because it's similar to the mustard colored hair she has. The blush she has on does not match her skin color at all. I'll give her this one and I'll also give her some lip gloss. So Tangerina is wearing a cute little cropped tank top. This one could work. It looks similar to what she's wearing. I do like this one better though. And she's also wearing some orange shorts. I'm gonna go for these shorts right here. Finally, we have someone who's not wearing the same shoes as everyone else. She has some sandals on. These will work. And then I did notice she has an ankle bracelet as well as some regular bracelets. So I gave her this beaded one. It looks similar to the one she's wearing. And let's give her this adorable necklace right here. Is there? Yes, there's a gold version. I'll do her nails in the orange color. I'll also give her some highlighter on her face and that is it for Tangerina Torta. I think she turned out adorable. She's definitely my favorite so far. All right, let's spin again and see who we get for the next one. Ooh, Seaberry Delight. This is what Seaberry Delight looks like. So Seaberry is a mermaid. She is shy, she's gentle, but she's also very wise. And she's introverted. So I'm gonna give her the child of the ocean trait, as well as the loner trait and the genius trait. And I also gave her the beach life aspiration. I'm not gonna literally make her a mermaid. I'm just gonna make her landform. I know I've been using Samandi's hairs all day but I think I'm gonna go with this one. I love this top on her so I'm gonna go with this one and these pants are looking pretty good because they do flow out at the bottom just like hers do. I can add like these little bracelets here. I do want to give her purple nails. Let's do her toes as well. Give her some sandals and I know she's not wearing one but I do want to include a necklace because there is so much space up here. That's a nice one and I do want to give her one last thing which is a little flower crown on her head. She's wearing like some seashells and stuff so hopefully this makes up for that. Oh and I just noticed her eyes are blue and that is it for Seaberry Delights. I really hope you like her. Let us spin for the very last time today and see who our last sim is gonna be. Ooh, Rainbow Sherbert. I have an idea of who this might be. This is what Rainbow Sherbert looks like. She is iconic. So Rainbow Sherbert is a captain of her rainbow float. She obviously likes sailing and ships. She's an adventurer. I'll give her the adventurous trait as well as the child of the ocean trait. And why not? I'll give her child of the islands as well. Same aspiration as Seaberry. How am I supposed to do this one? She is too iconic. She's definitely my favorite so far. I mean, she looks so cute. Gonna give her a bit of a pink lip gloss. I think I'm gonna go for this hair right here. So I don't have a rainbow hat, so I will just go with a blue one. This one in particular for right now. So I found these gloves right here and I thought the colors looked too bold, so I am just gonna turn that down and I think that looks a lot better. I'm gonna go with this pink fishnet right here. I think that's so cute. And now we can look for a top. I'm digging this little jacket. We can go for these pants right here. These are like my favorite pants. I am aware I use them a lot. I'll give her a belt and let's do her nails. Is there rainbow? There is rainbow, perfect. So she is wearing a scarf. I don't really have anything that looks good with this outfit in terms of scarves. 
I'd rather give her one of these big rainbow necklaces right here. I'll give her a little septum ring just for fun. And let's do her earrings. I'll go with these rainbow stars right here. So she is wearing some yellow socks underneath her pink shoes, which I think is so cute. And I'm pretty much done. I'm just trying to figure out what is too much in this outfit right now. Maybe the belt. I think the belt was a little bit too much, but that is it for Rainbow Sherbert. I really like how she turned out. And that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments which strawberry shortcake character was your favorite. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will We'll see you later.